Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a question that people ask me all the time in the comment section and that is how is the average person that doesn't dedicate every single breathing, living moment of their life, neither is surrounded by every single native speaker ever of their target language, able to maintain multiple languages at the same time? I think that this is a very interesting yet intricate question that has a lot of sections to it, so I'm going to try to to address it to the best of my ability um, but obviously everything that I say, I say is based on my experience and I just want to tell you basically the things that have worked out for me and the things that haven't worked out for me so that you can benefit from that knowledge and not make the same mistakes that I did so uh, let's get into the video but before we do I do want to give a big shout out to TIJN for sending me those very beautiful glasses so guys my first tip for maintaining multiple languages is that if you're like a lot of multilingual and you're acquiring a language in school, I would suggest that you start engaging with the language in your own free time. So aside from your schoolwork for a particular language, I would suggest that you bring that language home and that you start exposing yourself to it in the comfort of your house and basically taking ownership of your own education. The reason why this is important is number one, because it's going to make you independent from the educational institution. Obviously, having an educational institution at your disposal is an incredible privilege but like many of us you're not going to have that educational institution by your side holding your hand for the rest of your life so i think that 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 is probably one of the reasons the big reasons why people forget a language that they studied in high school after they graduate it's because they didn't get into the habit of bringing the language home and engaging with the language um in their own time and therefore because they lost the educational institution since they graduated high school and they started moving into you know a particular job that had absolutely nothing to do with languages they also lost the languages that they were learning so it is important for you to get into the habit of taking a little bit of ownership in terms of your education if you want to be multilingual it is incredibly important that you start engaging with the language in your own free time and i can't say this enough because for example my french i had studied french in middle school and in high school I only started engaging with it in my own free time by the end of high school and that is exactly when my French took off. So I definitely think that this is going to be uh, good for you in order to, in, in terms of being independent, in terms of taking ownership of your own education, and in terms of even improving in your language skills. The second thing that I think is going to absolutely guarantee your success is to have routines in place. Mine are extremely simple because I just want to wake up and know exactly what I am going to do for each of the languages. And I think that simplicity is actually incredibly important for you to have your routine almost memorized. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the routines that I have for my languages. They are different for every language because every language has different needs since I have different levels in different languages. So I'm just going to give you a more holistic picture of what that looks like. Before I share my routine with you guys, I do want to thank Tukan, which has very kindly sponsored this video. Tukan is a free Chrome browse extension that allows you to learn a new language effortlessly as you browse the web. It doesn't require any time away from your normal activities and this is why I have been using it for the past few months. So I just want to show you how it works. After you have downloaded Tukan, the only thing that you need to do is to go about your day without even thinking about language learning and Tukan will automatically scan any page that you open and it will change some words to your target language. This tool is incredibly powerful because it immerses you in the language without taking up your time. If you click on the blue words, you can see their definition, and if you click on the speaker, you can listen to the pronunciation. Other things you can do is to adjust the number of words that you are exposed to and adjust it to your preference, and you can also play different activities to practice your vocabulary. Tukan is available in all of these languages and it will soon be available in Japanese as well. So definitely don't hesitate to check out Tukan. I will be putting the link in the description down below. So guys, um, now I want to give you kind of like a rundown in terms of my routine for all of the languages. It's just going to be a very brief insight into what I do for every language. So I'm going to haphazardly just mention languages and tell you what I do for each of them. Obviously, I do want to tell you that my levels for each of those languages vary. So I have to concentrate on different skills in all of them. 
Um, so for example, Catalan, which is one of my weaker languages, I am watching an anime. I am trying to understand everything. For the most part, I can do that. But I am in the process of acquiring vocabulary. So as I watch the episode, I extract vocabulary and then I write it down on my iPad or on my space repetition system. I have given myself a break from the space repetition system because I was feeling a little bored. So I started writing things down again and I think that, that has shifted my routine and motivated me to keep on learning vocabulary. For Russian, I do have a textbook so I am learning the vocabulary from the chapters of that textbook and the grammar points of the textbook um, and the reason for this is because I am just basically reviewing the material that I learned in class. I think it is very important to review material especially for languages that are very grammar heavy so that is what I'm doing for Russian. For Portuguese, I only watch 10 minute videos I think that that is what I have the time to and the patience to so while I watch the 10 minute video I extract vocab and I do exactly the same for Italian so I just watch a 10 minute video for Italian and then I extract vocab for German I am actually concentrating on a different skill set than all of the other languages I am concentrated on reading my goal for this year is to read an entire book in German. For me, to read in German is very difficult. Like, I could generally understand someone who speaks to me and holds a conversation in German. But um, reading, for some reason, maybe because, you know, in literature, they use more sophistic sophisticated words, is a little bit harder for me to understand the meaning of an entire passage. So, in order to read something like 10 pages, it would take me somewhere around 45 minutes so it's definitely a challenge and something that I'm working towards so I want to read this book that I want I bought on Amazon something that will help me I think is that I'm already familiar with the story I watched the series so I think that reading the book is not going to be incredibly difficult but I do want to read my first book entire book in German this year for French, I am focused on vocabulary acquisition and I am mainly doing that through watching French movies. For English, I'm really trying to improve my public speaking and most of that work I can fortunately do it through my videos. And something else that I do to improve my English is to learn specialized vocabulary. So I didn't learn up, I didn't grow up speaking English. So I definitely have some blind spots, some gaps in terms of vocabulary that I need to fill up. In terms of my English, I am learning very specialized vocabulary, I would say, for example, the names of different baking tools or words that are literary and that I would only find in books. And so I'm trying to one, make my vocabulary a little bit more, a little bit broader and two, make it more sophisticated. And some other things that I can tell you is that number one, I think it is a bad idea to start learning several languages at the same time. The reason for this is because it is harder to maintain a language at the beginner level. For example, if I stop speaking Spanish for three months, by the end of those three months, I would still be a C2 level. However, if I stop speaking a language that I am a beginner at, like say Catalan, I would forget so much that I would probably drop an entire level. So instead of being an advanced beginner, I would be a beginner beginner because I would have forgotten so much. And I know this because this happened to me with Arabic. I could see that I had lost so many skills after I had stopped speaking it for a period of three months. So, so I think that at the heart of this question, in order to maintain multiple languages, you have to remember them. And it's just way easier to remember languages that have been consolidated into your brain after years of practice than languages that you're new at and that you've only been recently engaging with. So I think it is incredibly important that you focus on one language at a time, maybe two languages at a time, um, and if you are going to learn two languages at a time, I would suggest that they are from different families. I myself learned Italian and German at the same time. I didn't have much problem with that, mainly because they are completely different, so I didn't mix them up. So I would say that if you want to become multilingual, it is important to give yourself some time between languages. 
So guys, in essence, you can definitely become multilingual if you want to. It is definitely something that is achievable and it does get easier the more languages you learn. So um, it is something that is totally doable and I do want to encourage you to try to achieve that. Um, my purpose with this video is just to tell you my experience with the entire process and basically expose all the mistakes that I made so that you don't make them. Um, I hope that my tips help you and if you have been able to maintain multiple languages at the same time, please do let us know how, how you did it and what additional tips you have in terms of that conversation. And that is it for today. I hope to see you guys next week. Bye-bye.